Hello everybody, Fertility Journals here. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe after you finish watching this video. I decided to start this YouTube channel in an effort to share my infertility journey in the hopes to motivate, inspire, and empower. And so the hope is that maybe there will be something that I will say that you could take away, or um, if you're looking for inspiration, then you could follow me in how I pursued my 12 IVF cycles. I upload a new video uh, every week, uh, predominantly on Tuesdays. The vlogs, um, I call them the raw IVF vlogs that really showcase um, my journey. So thank you for watching. Today, I'm gonna talk about the common question that I get over and over again, understandably from those who are undergoing infertility who are just curious about protocol. And so I will share with you in layman terms the protocol that um, I pursued that really uh, led, I believe, to our success. I am not a medical professional. Um, obviously, if you are interested in knowing more information about where I received treatment, um, I'm more than happy to share that. My treatment was at the Life IVF Center in Irvine, Orange County. My husband and I says, Orange County, LA, is where women's dreams come true. <laughs> So we share that um, in between us as a joke because we did find success all the way in LA, Orange County. Um, anyway, I digress. So I am going to talk to you a little bit about the protocol that led to our success. So what led us to that protocol? I think that's important also because um, if you are thinking about changing doctors like I did in order to get the best treatment, then maybe sharing with you in a nutshell a little bit about what led us to that place might be helpful. And so I started, like many others, using conventional IVF. I, I wanted to give it a try, and my doctors were willing to give me a try at conventional IVF with my own eggs, um, letting me know that obviously there was a 97% chance of failure um, you know, using that cycle. But we were willing at the beginning, obviously, to do it, right? Because you know, can you imagine when you're told that IVF is not going to work for you? Um, it's traumatic, um, but we were willing to try. And so when we underwent the conventional IVF, it, it was the same like anybody else. It was the, the main IVF, so it cost a lot of money. And we had to go through a medical protocol that also cost a lot of money. Back then, I was very um, nervous and anxious, and I thought that, Honestly, guys, I was over medicating myself. My husband um, was not very happy with the medications that I was taking. Um, I basically was on double the menopore. I believe it was 150 IU or two of the 75 IU. I was on gonadotropin, so I took Gono F um, at the same time as that. And it, it, it was just a lot of medications. We spent about $5,000 you know, on the medications. What then ended up happening was that I, labeled as a poor responder, delivered <laughs> just that. In fact, my eggs didn't even get to maturity. Um, there's a minimum of three that's required. Only one matured. And so to save us the cost of paying for the cycle, they reverted the um, conventional IVF to an IUI, which also failed as well. And so, um, yeah, it, it, it was really, really tough um, going through the heavy medication. Now that said, that type of protocol is really good for women who have a lot of eggs. I remember attending an IVF webinar at my first clinic and there was a girl sitting there, a woman, young lady, who had um, 40 eggs, I believe. <laughs> she said something like that. And so, now, of course, now that I'm in a more positive space and I have had a chance to reflect, conventional IVF is a gift uh, for those who are looking to build their entire family because if the protocol doesn't work, then you are able to mature a lot of eggs, which then increases your odds at having multiple embryos, which then can lead to success. But um, that's a little bit about that journey there. I thought it was important to share that because it then led me to um, the, you know, the protocol that actually ended up working for us. And so after that conventional IVF cycle, if you've been watching uh, all of my videos, you will see the step-by-step. -step. 
obviously I wanted to change doctors because it wasn't gonna work. I'd heard snippets of mini IVF by doing research online and looking at publications by medical journals, um, and it was quite new at the time. But um, then I really then were able to find some doctors that really mentioned uh, minimal stimulation IVF, particularly for uh, those who are older um, and those who had age-related infertility, who are poor responders, who had diminished ovarian reserve, were perimenopausal, and it just you know didn't produce enough eggs. And it was also actually a really good one for younger, um, you know, infertility um, women who uh, were just poor responders because having poor response is not related to age. It, 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 it can also happen to you if, if you are younger. And so that's how I came across mini IVF. So I worked with my doctor and so what my doctor did is that they um, put me on some medications, I believe it was estrus, to kind of just balance me out when I was going through my first cycle. Because when I went to him, my FSH was pretty high. Um, at almost a 25 and um, my MAH was a 0.1 so it was one of those things I think where my doctor um, worked with me to be able to kind of get my body back um, now the protocol itself that I believe truly was what ended up working for us was a minimal um, IVF protocol it involved and you guys are not going to believe this half a clomid pill, half a clomid pill, and Menopor 75 IU every other day. Guys, it was so minimal that I just felt, I don't know, you know how like when you're off meds, <laughs> I hate to say this, but when you're off medications, how you feel like your body back, like I felt like I got my body back. And, um, at first, I actually did think it was a joke. And so I, I told my doctor, Dr. Frank Healing, I said, Dr. Healing, you know, you, am I wasting my money here for this protocol? What's going on? Um, because, you know, I was transitioning from a very heavy medicated uh, protocol. But the funny thing is, my body responded to the less medication very positively. And what ended up eventually happening is that cycle by cycle, I ended up um, even, you know, maturing more eggs. Obviously, you can't get any more eggs than what you have each time you go through an IVF cycle. The antrophological count is what it is. But um, the main difference was as I was continuing this protocol, I started noticing that if I had an antrophological count of probably three or four eggs, I ended up maturing all of them. In fact, um, in terms of maturation of the eggs, not success. I just want to be careful with that. In terms of maturity of the eggs using the protocol, I did have an IVF cycle where all four that I started with all matured and were able to be retrieved, which is amazing. And so um, hopefully that helps you be able to at least know the IVF protocol that worked for us and, um, and also a little bit about the background that led led us to you know to that point, um, and obviously there are other mitigating factors that led to our success. If you are watching my channel, you'll be able to see that I talk about um, everything that I felt factored in. I think it was a holistic process, but in terms of protocol, I really will say that um, my clinic really really did an amazing job. Um, and and if I may say this because the protocol was so um, uninvasive to my body, was the reason I was able to go through back-to-back -back IVF cycles at the time that I was, you know, based on, on, on the age I was, you know, for lack of a better word, I was trying to get the eggs I could while I was still young. <laughs> I wasn't young, but you know what I mean. It wasn't a situation where I was doing like one or two or three IVFs a year. I was able to do 12, back-to-back -back IVF cycles because of the protocol. I mean, it was really simple. And I retrieved in many of my IVF cycles one egg at a time, particularly initially. Um, so it, it was not invasive at all for me to, to go through and maximize my youth, um, which is uh, probably a good thing because that's kind of what led to our success. 
So thank you for watching guys. Um, if you have any questions, just basic questions about the protocol, please feel free to, you know, you can always send me an email. Or if you have any questions about, you know, your um, infertility journey or you, there's a, something you want to know, please let me know when you guys send me an email. That's when um, I'm able to gather the ideas together about what to cover to be able to enrich our community as we um, undergo um, our fertility struggles. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, bye.